If you've ever found yourself captivated by cursed videotapes, vengeful spirits, and that lingering sense of dread, then you're in for a treat, as I have curated a list of 10 films that will keep you on the edge of your seat, just like The Ring did. So grab your popcorn and get ready for a horror movie marathon. Hi guys, I hope you're doing really well. My name is Sarah and welcome to What The Horror, the channel where we talk about horror movies old and new. As you will have seen from the thumbnail and title today, I am sharing with you my curated list of films to watch if you love The Ring. Directed by Gore Verbinski and starring Naomi Watts, The Ring was an incredible incredible success on release, making $249.3 million at the box office. It has topped many lists of scariest moments and best horror films, and it's also one I hear a lot of people mention as their personal scariest horror experience or a film that got them into horror when they were younger. Not only was it the first J-horror remake, but it then paved the way for numerous other Asian horror remakes and a handful of American horror films with a similar format. And that's what you'll find in the list today. I have chosen five Japanese and other Asian classics alongside their American remake counterpart and five original The Ring inspired modern horror movies. So, whether you're a die-hard horror fan or just dipping your toes in, there is something here for everyone. And stick around until the end of the list for a handful of honourable mentions. But before we start off the list officially, I want to add an honorary film, and that is Ringyu, the original Japanese film released in 1998 and directed by Hideo Nakata. A mysterious video has been linked to a number of deaths, and when inquisitive journalist Asakawa finds the tape and views it herself, she sets in motion a chain of events that puts not only her own life in danger, but also that of her son and her ex-husband Ryuji. Okay, okay, this entry may be a little on the nose and a little too obvious. However, I'm making this list on the assumption that the majority of people have watched the American remake, but have perhaps not watched the original. And the original is such an important movie to me. It remains the film that has scared me the most on watching it. And while it traumatized me at the time, it has actually gone on to become not only one of my favorite horror movies, but also one of my top 10 movies movies of all time. It is a beautiful film, a terrifying film, and if on the off chance you haven't seen it yet, then I wanted to remind you that it's there, so maybe check it out. It is slightly different than the American remake, leaning more into the supernatural elements, so while it's the same film, it is also refreshingly different. And the original. And once you have seen it, or if you've seen it already, then make sure to hit the notification bell and keep an eye out for my upcoming Ring You vs. The Ring episode, which talks about and highlights all of the differences between the two films. Okay, so starting off properly, we have fellow Hideo Nakata film Dark Water, released in 2002. Yoshimi moves into a new apartment after winning a custody battle of her daughter. Supernatural occurrences start happening at her new place, including a mysterious water leak from the floor above, and she vows to find the root of all problems. What is so exciting about Dark Water is that not only is it directed by Hideo Nakata, who also directed Ringyu, but the story is based on a short story called Floating Water, written by Koji Suzuki, who wrote the novel which Ringyu is based on. You can't get much more like The Ring than that. Dark Water doesn't play into cursed technology, but it does have the recognisable ghost girl and eerie atmosphere that we love from The Ring. And as with all of the Asian horror entries on this list, I will be including the American remake in case Asian horror or subtitles aren't for you. The remake is also titled Dark Water, stars Jennifer Connelly, John C. Riley, Tim Roth and Pete Pothelwaite, and was released in 2005. Dahlia hopes to start life afresh with her daughter, but haunting visions and eerie noises begin to daunt her. She must now find out whether the sounds are real or it's all in her head. Then we have Japanese horror One Missed Call, directed by Takashi Mike and released in 2003. Many people receive strange voice messages in their own voice, but from a future date. It contains the exact time and date of their death and sounds of themselves reacting to their own violent deaths. 
One missed call, like The Ring, plays on the horrors of modern technology, this time our mobile phones. But what is great about One Missed Call is that if you enjoy this one, then it is part of its own trilogy of films. So you have an extra two. Then we have the American remake, also titled One Missed Call, starring Shannon Sussman and Edward Burns, and released in 2008. Beth, a college student, witnesses her friends dying after receiving mysterious voicemails on their phone. She sets out to unravel the mystery behind their deaths while also trying to stay alive. This one, I have to be honest up front, is not a very good remake of an Asian horror. This is one where I would personally recommend the Japanese original. Then we have perhaps the other most well-known Japanese horror film alongside The Ring, and that is Zhuan The Grudge, directed by Takashi Shimizu and released in 2002. An evil curse and vengeful spirit seem to linger in a house where the horrific murder of a woman and child took place, and anyone who sets foot in the house doesn't step out alive. Zhuan, along with Ringyu, is considered to be one of the best horror movies of all time, and a must watch for horror fans. Although, a few of you will already know this, but this is one horror film I'm not sure I can manage watching. I desperately want to do a Zhuan vs. The Grudge episode, but I'm having to build myself up to it. And of course, we also have the American remake named The Grudge, starring Sarah Michelle Gellar, Jason Burr, Bill Pullman, and Clea Duvall, and was released in 2004. Karen Davis moves to Tokyo, where she encounters a supernatural spirit that possesses its victims. After a series of horrifying and mysterious deaths, Karen makes a vow to stop any further deaths. What's interesting about The Grudge is that it is also directed by Takashi Shimizu, but it failed to meet the critical praise that Zhuon had. Another thing that stands out about The Grudge, to me, because I have seen the remake, is that while it is an American remake, the story still takes place in Japan unlike most of the other remakes that had their setting moved over to America. So this remake maintains a lot of the Japanese culture in it. Then we have another Japanese tech horror film, Cairo, also called Pulse, released in 2001. After a college student takes their own life, a number of young adults living in Tokyo witness terrifying visions transferred across the internet. As more people disappear throughout the city, the internet becomes a breeding ground for malevolent spirits. Pulse has a slightly different format as it follows three seemingly disconnected stories, but there is the same eerie building, suspense of the ring, and a large commentary on the horrors of modern technology and the isolation that can come from it. And then we have the remake, also titled Pulse, starring Kristen Bell and released in 2006. Josh, a hacker, stumbles upon a powerful wireless signal, which mysteriously compels people to take their own life. In order to put an end to it, he tries to plant a virus in the signal. This is one remake that I haven't seen, so I can't comment on whether or not it maintains the same level of commentary as the original, and there are low ratings for the film online. However, as with everything, I would say give it a try and make up your own mind. Then we have Thai horror film Shutter, released in 2004. A young photographer and his girlfriend discover mysterious shadows in their photographs after a tragic accident. They soon learn that you cannot escape your past. Another tech horror, this time playing on cameras. However, Shutter also contains some themes and events which some people may want to avoid, so I will mention them in the description box below. I won't mention it here as it could be considered a plot spoiler, but I just want to give you guys the heads up. But there is also the website Does the Dog Die. If you're not aware of this, you can go onto it and search any film and there will be a list of trigger warnings and content uh, inclusion. So if you ever wanted to see if a film was for you, I would highly recommend using that website. And of course, there is the American remake, also titled Shutter, starring Joshua Jackson and Rachel Taylor and released in 2008. A newly married couple discovers disturbing, ghostly images in photographs they develop after a tragic accident. Fearing the manifestations may be connected, they investigate and learn that some mysteries are better left unsolved. As with the original, this has the same content, so make sure to check out the description box for that trigger warning. Okay, now we have five original American horror films, all in the vein of The Ring. And first up, we have Smile, starring Sosie Bacon and Kyle Gallner, released in 2022. After witnessing a bizarre traumatic incident involving a patient, 
Dr. Rose Cotter starts experiencing frightening occurrences that she can't explain. As an overwhelming terror begins taking over her life, Rose must confront her troubling past in order to survive and escape her horrifying new reality. I read A Light Smile when it came out in 2022. I ranked it number 11 in my ranking of 2022 horror movies, but with hindsight, I think I would probably move it up to number 10. It is very reminiscent of The Ring with a curse being passed from person to person and has some very effective scares in amongst the usual jump scares. Then we have tech horror film Sinister, starring Ethan Hawke and James Ransone, released in 2012. Ellison, a crime writer, moves his family to a house that once witnessed gruesome and murders. Soon, when his research leads him to some eerie footage, things take a dark and harrowing turn. Sinister is on this list because it follows that format of a curse being passed from person to person through the use of technology, but also because writer C. Robert Cargill credits a nightmare he had after watching none other than The Ring as the inspiration for the plot of Sinister. Double whammy. A little fact about Sinister is that until 2021, it actually held the crown of scariest film based on heart rate beats per minute. It was scientifically the scariest movie, but in 2021, it was beaten by Host. Next, we have It Follows, starring Micah Monroe and released in 2015. After carefree teenager Jay sleeps with her new boyfriend Hugh for the first time, she learns that she is the latest recipient of a fatal curse that is passed from victim to victim via sexual intercourse. Now she finds herself being followed by a malevolent force afterwards. It follows on its second list in two weeks. Uh, while it doesn't play into our fear of technology, it still deals with the idea of a curse that can be passed from person to person. So not only is it tapping into the ring format that we love, it is also a very highly regarded film and a must watch for horror fans. Then we have Lights Out, starring Teresa Palmer and Maria Bello, released in 2016. A young woman realizes that her mother is possessed by a supernatural spirit that hunts only in the dark. However, a spate of murders compels her to confront the spirit and save her family. This one plays with some familiar themes seen in both versions of The Ring, such as maternal relationships and events from the past coming for us in the present. And the final one on the list, officially, is Polaroid, released in 2019. High schooler Bird Fitcher has no idea what dark secrets are tied to the mysterious Polaroid vintage camera she stumbles upon, but it doesn't take long to discover that those who have their picture taken meet with a tragic end. Okay, so this one is not the strongest of films ever made, but it is a fun time and is reminiscent of other films on this list, such as The Ring and Shutter. It has a ghostly entity, tick, and cursed technology, tick. My mini-me and I do the burn unit from Bob's Burgers, which is essentially Bob and his daughter Louise watching things and then mocking them for fun. So if nothing else, I can highly recommend this film for a fun watch along those lines. And before we wrap up, I want to add a couple of honourable mentions. First, we have the sequels and prequels in the Ring series, including the Japanese Ring 2 and Ring Zero, and the American The Ring 2 and Rings. All worth a watch despite varying quality, especially as there are two very different storylines in terms of Sadako and Samara. And secondly, the Empty Man, The Bye Bye Man, and Slender Man. None of which are particularly great films, I will admit, but if you're after a curse or legend happening to a bunch of people with some research thrown in, then these have you covered. And there you have it, 10 films plus a couple of honourable mentions to watch if you love The Ring. Whether you're a fan of the original Asian classics or prefer the American adaptations, these movies will satisfy your craving for The Ring-style horror. Which of these, if any, have you added to your watch list? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe, especially if you're a fan of The Ring, as you may want to check out my Asian horror versus their American remake series that will be kickstarting with The Ring, hopefully next week. If you want to join these wonderful names listed here and get some extra content, then check out the link to my Patreon page down below. And if you enjoyed this episode and want more, then check out one of the video links at the end. But in the meantime, thank you as always for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves and I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye.
And of course, we also have the American remake named The Grudge, starring Shara, Shara, Shara Michelle Gellar. 